Hello and welcome back to another episode of United We Stand, Divided We Podcast. I and you didn't see that. From the U.S.? <laughs> what? Sorry. Uh, nothing. I wasn't vaping. I mean, Robert Warren is from the U.S. I'm very I, sorry I for that rude interruption during my introduction. <laughs> uh, I'm Robert from the U.S. and uh, my co-host uh, Lionel from Toronto, Canada. Uh, I, I can loves, be like I know he loves can, to hear it. I, I like that. It, so it's Toronto. I I <laughs> I could have a new nickname, Lionel the Rude. <laughs> I apologize. I just it, it, it my timing was off and I wasn't I, I wasn't vaping. No, it didn't happen. Anyways, but I don't smoke. We'll, we'll go with that. So listen, uh the, we're gonna we got we're gonna have a lot of exciting things to talk about. I mean, like really leading up this week and of course the Olympics uh and everything, uh, but I definitely want to make sure people are gonna tune in next time. Uh, because there's going to be some big things happening as of tomorrow and onward. Uh, but uh, just to be clear, uh, are you you're going on vacation? When are you leaving? Uh, I'm leaving Wednesday evening. I'll be I'll be out of town as of about six p.m. Right. Well, six thirty. My flight leaves for Miami. Uh, okay. Are we having to postpone a next week, or are we on? I just want to make sure anyone wants to watch knows if we're doing a show next week or if we're going to make a few shorts to make up for it or short form videos or anything like that. Well, I usually post shorts anyways, but I won't be getting back until that next Thursday. So Okay. So we might uh, be a day or two late. Uh, yeah, we could possibly do it Friday. Maybe. It depends. But definitely Thursday right. is going to be out because I'm not getting back yeah. until that afternoon. Well, then I, I, I might have to. It really depends on how quick I can. But you know what? I'll, I'll, uh, I'll talk about that after we get to that so you uh lead us into what you want to talk about first i, I got well, i just uh, I up, but. so you know um olympics are over and i don't know how much you watched of the games i watched none a fair amount i mean my wife watched way more than i did but i yeah. watched some of the events that you know i really enjoy watching right um i watched the men's basketball um nice um decidedly win and then i watched the women's <laughs> basketball win by one point uh it was a nail biter to the end it was a one one possession game back and forth back and forth and you, you this know. is the first time in that i can remember and i think actually it's the first time in olympic history that a team has played the host team for gold in the same sport. So the men's okay, basketball I'm and sorry, the women's I have, basketball. I have to ask, are you suggesting France was in the gold medal game in basketball? Okay. Well, if you would have let me finish. So <laughs> both <laughs> men's basketball and the women's basketball both played France for the gold medal game. That's, that's never that's, happened before. That's cool. Yeah, well, it's cool. It's especially cool for France. It's uh, it's kind of a little embarrassment for 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 Canada, uh, that uh, it is not to take anything away from France. I mean, if they made it to the gold medal, then they must be good. Um, yes, they and are. we all know that Canada isn't exactly a powerhouse in basketball, uh, but it's I I want to take it as a little bit of an embarrassment because you you'd think that at some point it would be like, okay, we have Canadian players that are in the NBA, um. We have an NBA a couple. Well, we used to have a couple, and we have one. <laughs> Is it only one? <laughs> yeah. I, don't I don't know. Remember. I was going to ask you. I don't. Uh, I don't know. Like, um, well, Vancouver. I don't think. I don't know. I don't remember if they because I don't really follow basketball that much, except a little bit of the Raptors when they were having that phenomenal year and won. Um, but uh, I, I'm not a massive basketball fan. I. I do find it can get exciting and depending on who you're watching and when you're watching, but it's not my number one sport. So I, I don't go to it. I mean, just like I, I like CFL because I'm Canadian more than I do NFL, but I can, I can enjoy an NFL game with anybody uh, watching, you know, I mean, any city I'm ever visiting in, if there's an NFL team and I get a chance to get a ticket, I would absolutely go 100%. Yeah. Basketball. Yeah. I can't say the same. Uh, I think I probably would go to a Lakers game if I was in Los Angeles for obvious reasons. It's the Lakers. Uh, if I was in Boston, I'd probably go to a Celtics game, right? But 
football's a lot easier. I mean, if I went to 10 cities, I'd probably try to see football in all cities that it was available in. Yeah. But that's okay. I, I will say, though, uh, congratulations to the U.S. because I understand that uh, they had been chasing China for gold medals for a while, passed them, China passed them again. And then on the last day, I believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, U.S. got a few extra and, and ended up passing China uh, for the gold medals and absolutely dominated in overall medals, uh, even yeah. even even a quite a noticeable amount more than China. Yeah, and, and so ironically, day. the women's basketball game against France was the final game of the Olympics where they won gold, yeah, which okay. put us it's so it was tied 40 40. But because we're 126 to 91 versus China, obviously we are number one. Yeah, yeah, so, okay, so. yeah, but yeah, it uh, it they, it was back and forth. You know, China led in goals for a long time until we finally got yeah. to some of the events that were more of a powerhouse in, and yeah, uh, you know, we That's, came back and you know get track and field. I was and waiting. Yeah, I was waiting for Canada to suddenly storm out, and I don't mean they would have been, they wouldn't have competed with even England, let alone U.S. or China, but. I, I was waiting for the storm out and end up uh, finishing like ninth, seventh, or even eighth overall uh, for the first time ever in Summer Olympics because so many, a number of sports, a lot to do with rowing and sculling that uh, Canada has traditionally been very good in and medaled sometimes a lot. But they only ended up with a couple of medals in the, in all of that. And there's like, like 13 or 14 medals that you can get in in in, in rowing and maybe even more because uh, there's doubles and uh quad and i'm not i'm not real eights. familiar with that sport there's, so there's eight and 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 four and doubles and singles there's sculling and rowing and it's like absolutely amazing and you were mentioning was it was it on the podcast or was it just when we were talking about the breaking thing which i kind of it kind of went in one ear and out the other but I saw it, and it was a Canadian that won the gold. And on the one hand, I'm like, yeah. On the other hand, I'm thinking, in the Olympics? <laughs> yeah, I we mean, were just talking in general, and it's uh, yeah, yeah. It's not it's not slated to be in the 2028 Olympics. So, so it, was it just a demonstration sport, or no? Did they make it a I full... mean, it it was a full medaled sport. So I don't I wow mean, why it's not on the 28 thing. I don't know, but I'm not. I'm not sad about it. You know, I just, honestly, yeah, no, I'm neither am I. But now that they put it in, it, uh, it would be a jerk move for them not to have it at least two Olympics in a row because they've given a bunch of people hope for something. It's different. Uh, but in all honesty, these guys are athletes. Let's, no. let's call it what it is. Yeah, are they dancers? Yeah, sure. But they're more athletic than they are dancing. And oh, but I'm not saying that they yeah. they're not athletic, and uh, you know, no, I know I just don't think it's an Olympic style type sport. I I honestly I do agree with you. I'm just saying because they put it in once, I think it's a dick move not to have it in at least twice, and just tell people yeah. this is going to be the last one. So give it your all. Um, Maybe it was a test. It, I don't uh, know. Uh, perhaps, but uh, listen, the results are probably. I imagine they they don't they didn't get a lot of views because uh, I mean breaking is it's still fun to watch and stuff but it's not it's not it's not what it was in the eighties it's a niche thing you get a lot more people yeah. that would I know I know it's gonna sound crazy but if they had Olympic darts more people would watch it's crazy <laughs> and a lot of people say oh yeah well it's like watch billiards well to, if you don't like billiards or even if you do chances are. You think it's boring to watch on TV and for good reason. But if you had eight ball in the Olympics, I promise you 10 million people would tune into the finals. It's a thing. Well, they, people, they have um, people tape poker by the millions. Dude, you know how boring it is to watch somebody else win in poker. It's horrible. But people, millions. You got all quiet. Oh, oh, no. oh I, I was letting you talk. I, I you know, you just what, suddenly stopped talking. <laughs> well, no, yeah. you just suddenly stopped talking. Hey, this is a podcast. You know, people talk over each other all the time. So it's it's all good. Um, well, my, my point was, you know, they have um, table tennis. They have ping pong in the Olympics. So 
Yeah, sure. Uh, it's I mean, a adults now, would fit right into that, but the 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 breaking mm-hmm. is to me just doesn't it doesn't jive. I, I uh, you know, I'm sure you probably I don't know maybe you haven't. Well, seen I'm sorry, movie. I have to stop you there. It, apparently, breaking does jive. That's kind of the point. <laughs> sorry, I'm being a little literal. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I I do I actually like I said I I agree with you. I was shocked. I I don't really think that it's a thing for the olympics uh and again that is nothing against the absolutely phenomenal dancers slash athletes that are doing it and i'm happy for all of them for getting that recognition uh having all those people be able to see them you know uh these guys are going to be able to book gigs and get parts and dance more uh, in public and it's it's more of a thing so i'm glad i'm glad they got that opportunity but hopefully you know uh whatever kind of because i know they obviously have some kind of world championship or something or this never would have happened um because they don't make an olympic sport that doesn't have some kind of world champions um but this is going to give it more recognition so they're going to have that one way or the other but yeah i have i have no idea so on that note again congratulations to the entire u.s olympic team and all the u.s fans for not surprisingly finishing number one overall in overall medals as well as the most goals. I'm pretty sure they got the well, most. Well, we're tied in goals. Too. Oh, we tied. tied, China. tied oh, China. okay. So you won because you had the most medals, period. Right. right. Okay. Uh, same, same thing. That still makes them number one. Um, but I also want to say congratulations to Team Canada for pulling off the most successful Summer Olympic Games in Canadian history. At 27 medals, which beats them by their previous high by three. That doesn't sound like a lot. I know people are thinking, but remember, we only have uh, close to 40,000, 40,000. <laughs> it's worth 40,000 people live in my neighborhood. There are 40 million people in the country. And the last time uh, that they got, I think around 18, they've got 24, a, a few, a couple of Olympics ago, whatever. But normally they were getting in the 13, 12, 14 range, right, for medals. A lot of them rowing, like I said. Um, but that was, when they, when they did, Canada was barely scratching around 30 million people at the time, too. So we have way less people than most countries that are winning. Well, basically, Canada has let, uh, way less people than all countries that finish ahead of them in the Olympics. If you look at all the countries that finish ahead, that's an incredible fact. And most of the countries that finish below Canada either have less people in their country than Canada or they're borderline third world country or war torn. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was really hoping they break top 10 and they came close, but uh, yeah, I thought 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 they did. I thought they did a very respectable Olympics for sure. I mean, they slowed down the last few days. They didn't get any new, any new medals, but um isn't Canada far more competitive in winter Olympics? Cause obviously you have a lot more. Snow uh, capabilities, yes. Canada you know, always. For... Yeah. Canada, at least for the last several Olympics or at least five or six or whatever it's been, has finished uh, generally speaking in the top five ish, because there's been a couple where it, it hasn't been quite as successful, but of course, Calgary, despite the fact that that was the second straight hosted Olympics, that they did not win a gold medal. It was embarrassing. Uh, Then they did the Vancouver thing, and I think it was day three, and they're going, oh, no, here we go again. And uh, Bilodeau won that uh, freestyle skiing. Uh, I think it was not freestyle. Some kind of jumping thing is similar to freestyle. I don't think it's actually freestyle, though. Um, But he he won the gold medal, first gold medal uh, on Canadian soil for a Canadian in history. Um, they ended up winning, uh, what was it, 17, I think, something like that, gold medals. Um, to put that in perspective, they had never done more than, I think, 14 before or 15 or something like that. Um, and it was actually the record until the last Winter Olympics, I want to say. Last Winter Olympics, I think it was broken. But until then, no team, no team, including the U.S., had ever won more, not Switzerland, not Sweden, not Finland, not Russia. And it's like, wow, Canada at home won more gold medals than any other team in, the, in history of Winter Olympics at the time. Yeah. So it, they're, they're still top two or top three. 
Well, I'm pretty sure this coming Winter Olympics, you guys will uh, be at the top of the list because um, hockey's back in. They're allowing NHL. I thought. To, I thought. Of, oh no, it wasn't in the last time they they kicked it back out, right? Because yeah, because the yeah. Uh, NHLPA and NHL both had an issue with it. Yeah, I think, uh, and then it talked them into going back again. Yeah, so they're uh, they're allowed now to play, and of course, you know, like uh, you can look at the Predators roster, and they're probably three fourths of them are Canadian. <laughs> you know, every roster out there has probably got at least half of them. Yeah. Canadian, but you so, know what? Yeah. There are a lot of really good Finns and Swedes oh, sure. and Americans. Um, if you were to pick the three best teams in the world right this minute with what we know of what happened last year in the NHL, you would have America, Canada, Finland, don't know which order that would come in. I really don't know. I would honestly probably say America would have a really good shot at playing the Finns for the gold medal. Canada would have to push it to make it to the gold medal game if it happened right this minute. And that's not, I'm not insulting Canada. I'm actually saying that Americans have gotten so good at the game that there's no, I remember when it used to be a guarantee, oh, Canada's playing America. It's going to be a tough game, but Canada's going to win. We do not know that anymore. Not at all. Yeah. And it's more well, fun. To, it's more fun to watch. It's the same way basketball has turned out to be in the Summer Olympics, which actually is good. I, I like it because it has spawned a lot more competition because you have a lot of, yeah. you know, European and, you know, other countries playing right. for NBA teams that are now playing for their home country in the Olympics. And so, like, there was a couple of teams that the U.S. men's almost blew it, like Ber- um, uh. I can't was it Berlin, Belgium? <laughs> I don't know. There's one of the teams here, just like it was like the the silver medal game, um, or excuse me, the bronze medal game. They almost lost that game, and they almost wow. would have got the, the the bronze, and they they pulled it out. They were like they were like 17 points down and came back and won by like five points or something. So now the gold medal game against France, France played well, but it was never like in jeopardy like the women's was. And they ended up right, finishing right. in double digits. So, uh, but it's, you know, it's not, it's not a runaway like the dream team was, you know? Um, yeah. Matter of fact, they were actually saying that this year's team is probably better than the dream team, but because the rest of the world is so much better at basketball, it, it yeah. makes it look like they're not as good because they didn't just run away with it. But who wants a runaway? I don't want a runaway. I want a good I, competition, you know. Yeah, I I have uh, Canada had um way back in the 80s uh put a one team on the court that was so good that we actually weren't disappointed when they had to settle for a bronze if I'm not mistaken, I think they won the bronze. Um, they didn't make it into the gold medal game, but it, it wasn't for lack of trying. This was such a good team. And if I if I remember correctly, I believe at least one of those players ended up in the NBA. Because this was before NBA players were playing. Um uh in because they uh, if I remember correctly, NBA got into the Olympics before uh NHL. If I remember uh, that I don't know. I don't know, but yeah, was, yeah, for a long time they weren't allowed to play, right? But you know, I, I'm glad I'm glad to see the competition, and it was uh, it was a lot of fun watching the basketball. I really really enjoyed it. I mean, when you have a when you have a team that's got LeBron James, Les Curry, <laughs> yeah. Durant, I mean, you have these big time ballers literally on the court at the same time. Right, it's fun to watch because like Les Curry, that man. In the last two games, scored sixty points by himself. Dang! Wait a minute, a game or or two games combined? O- over the two games combined, but no, oh, okay, 30, but still 30 good. points a game is, <laughs> yeah. And he's yeah. A, he he drops threes like like I drop you know what in the toilet. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's just like clunk, 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 clunk. <laughs> so you know he was amazing to watch. Really, um, it, well, it's yeah. It, yeah. I, and I have a new appreciation and respect for LeBron James because he's a very selfless player on the court. Yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my thing here and ask. I was gonna say Chat GPT, but no, it's uh, it's it's uh, 
the Google one, uh, Gemini, about the Canadian basketball team that, in the Olympics. I, just because I want to know who that main player was. Uh, the Canadians ever win a basket? No, shoot, I didn't ask that right. <laughs> Have Team Canada ever won an Olymp Olympic medal in basketball? I hope I'm. I hope I remember correctly. Yes, Team Canada. Oh God, I can put my glasses back on. My my old man face. Here we go. <laughs> yes, Team Canada has won Olympic medals in basketball. I'm gonna turn that off. Uh, men's team silver. Oh, silver. Oh no, sorry, that's 1936. Wait a minute. Oh, I guess they didn't win in in the 80s. Wow. Okay. I thought they did. I'm so confused. Uh, did the men's team not win a medal in the 1980s bronze medal or at least lose in the bronze medal game? They didn't let me finish. <laughs> it's just typical, Tim and I. No, the Canadian men's basketball team did not win a medal in the 1980s at the Olympics. Their best finish during a decade was fourth place, so they lost the bronze medal game. Okay, fair enough. Um, but that's again. For Canada, that was incredible at the time because they yeah. weren't, they would never even have made the medal round uh, in most years. I, th I think that might be the first time they even made the medal round. Yeah, mm. I have to check that out too. Uh, other than 1936, obviously, but I would expect it was 1936. I mean, even Americans weren't that good at basketball yet. <laughs> so Canada people, doesn't have any kind of basketball league like NBA that's uh, like not, no, no, CFL. no, no. No, no. The only pro leagues, like, I mean, slightly more noticeable pro leagues that we ever had were actually based out of America anyways. Uh, Winnipeg had a team, uh, the Winnipeg Thunder, they were called. They would always hit the court to uh, Thunderstruck by ACDC. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was going to broadcasting school at the time. And uh, my, I want to say major, but it's not like it was university. But what I was focusing on was sports broadcasting. And of course, because we were an accredited, it was an accredited school, we, we were able to obtain press passes, proper full press passes. So I would get press passes to certain games. I decided I wanted to go to a basketball one. Uh, because again, I got to learn how to do everything. And I didn't know much about basketball. So I sat there, or sat there rather, right at courtside. So glorious. Because a lot of these guys were either too short for the NBA had played in the NBA, were trying to get to the NBA, and they tried harder because this league, which I can't remember the name of, had a height restriction of 6'4 or 6'5 or something. So the vast majority of players were between 5'8 and 6'2. That's right. <laughs> when they dunked, when they dunked, they flew. I mean, it was amazing to see these guys. Literally, yeah. it was like watching a whole bunch of Air Jordan. It was insane. And I, I that one game I went to, uh, and it was radio broadcasting specifically that I was uh, uh, working on. Um, so I, I wrote out everything, and then I transcribed it into how I wanted it to sound as a report on the radio. Uh, and we did little radio things every day uh, for practice, right? And to be graded on. So we went in and I read the whole thing out as if I were doing the radio show. And I I did it in the radio voice. The Winnipeg Thunder, 132-127. You're listening to whatever the hell. <laughs> and it turned out really good. And this was my radio voice. I got to tell you, when I talk, when I talk in my radio voice, I mean, serious business, but anyways, okay. <laughs> Enough of that. Uh, we've we've blathered on a lot about the Olympics. Unless there's something specifically more you need to say about the Olympics, I do really want to do a massively in in well, not really a segue because I'm cutting it off. But well, are, are, um, you, <laughs> I was going to make a mention about you talking about height, and I was just letting you. Finish. Okay, no, no, go ahead. Did you know that Brittany Griner, who's on the women's basketball team, is 6'9"? Huh? 6'9". <laughs> yeah, she's a monster. Wow. She's awesome. Anyways, so that's I, I was just, you were talking about height. And at 6'9", she right? don't I, need I to be to... awesome. And if she wasn't, I wouldn't tell her. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Well, yeah. tomorrow is the 13th of August, 2024. That might not mean that much to some people unless it's your birthday. I know someone whose birthday is tomorrow. Uh, however, that isn't what I'm talking about. For those of you who don't know, Google has moved, and we brought this up before, their reveal event for their new product uh, into, well, uh, a little past the midway point of the year, and it's this month. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when the phones will be available. I assume it's anywhere from the first day to about a week later or, or something along that line. However, the great part about it is while you're gone, I'm hoping to get my hands on the phone. If not, that has to be a week and a half later or something like that. Then we'll work on it then. But if it happens, I will unbox it on this channel. Nice. And see, now yeah. all of you know why he's acting like a, a, a small <laughs> child and he's all giddy. Oh, come on. This entire thing is because tomorrow is his, uh, his uh, pixel reveal day from Google. <laughs> and and it just so happens that I enjoy my Google phones. And there are a couple of HTCs in here because I go back. <laughs> I go way back. Uh, there's my original Pixel. Right? So that's the Pixel 1 XL. And they didn't call it 1, of course. But I have almost all of them. Unfortunately, the seven, or 6, pardon me, uh, was sold. Um, but hey. It, it, that, it was a sad day getting rid of it, but nonetheless, uh, yeah, I'm I'm going to be a little excited, and I, I of course will be getting the nine Pro XL. I'm glad they actually brought the XL moniker back because it, it's part of what Google was doing. It differentiates them, uh, and that way they can have two Pro models, which everyone else is doing. Samsung does it, Apple does it, Huawei does it. Even uh, who cares about Huawei? But um. I'm not sure about Oppo. I don't think they do. I think they just have their main phone and some budget one somewhere, but yeah, I could be I don't wrong. really know anything about Oppo. I mean, I know I, yeah, what I they follow are, but I just, I yeah. don't know all the you know, details. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I used to, but I don't follow that as much. There's lots of people out there you can check out Oppo stuff with. Uh, but if you want to know more about some Samsung stuff, uh, oh, yeah, speaking of which, you did, um, did you do a review on your new watch at all or a first impression or anything like that? On your oh channel. yeah it's on my yeah it's on my tech channel yeah 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 all right well you know plug it you're here, here plug yeah, it. I'll, I'll put it i'll put a link in the <laughs> description and it's uh Absolutely. gadget guys yeah. gadgets yeah you gotta Z check yeah you gotta check that out uh because he does use that uh and you know when he gets new stuff he'll he'll talk about some of that stuff by the way i do want to mention again we don't have this is not a sponsor but it's just because I believe in when I believe in something, I do want to say something about it. But hopefully one day we can actually get a sponsorship for these guys here. Uh, Steel Series Nova Pro wireless headset. We both use them and they're fantastic. I hope you're I hope you're watching this Steel Series because <laughs> we love your headsets and you can see he oh, I'm pointing at it like they can and see. I, and I love your microphone. Yeah, he loves your microphone. I do, too, because it sounds great. I am using a Rode microphone. I hope you're watching Road. Uh, but, <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, in both cases, they're fantastic. Uh, Steel Series does yeah. great. Stuff. So if anybody out there is looking at this and thinking, well, how can I get into this stuff? And what can I do? And what should I use? Which I seriously recommend. Steel Series. Yeah, yeah. Steel Series. My LD, my, my RGB mat, Steel Series. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I have to go this way, though. Logitech. I'm oh, sorry. Logitech. <laughs> for a wireless. I don't need it because I got the laptop here, but I have this in case I want to type off of it. And I don't have to reach over or whatever. Uh, and I do have a Logitech mouse. It's not hooked up right now. I have some generic garbage. Yeah, they make, they uh, make good right stuff. Now. I have a lot of Logitech they do. stuff, too. <laughs> I don't remember we're mentioning everything. But, but, but in, in all seriousness, these are expensive, but you can get cheaper stuff. But if you want to sound good and you want to know what you sound like, it is important that you get good stuff. So, and I, I talk about that because I buy new phones every year. This is still my last year phone. This is my uh, Pixel 7 Pro. Uh, my Pixel 8 Pro is the one you're looking at right now. Uh, and hopefully in a week or two, that will be my secondary phone. And my Pixel 9 Pro XL will be my number one phone. And, and honestly, if it doesn't get talked about this, you know, next week, the week after, you will definitely get 
um, beyond the first impression, or at least the first impression, depending on how long it takes to get it. Yeah. Uh, I probably put out a quick one on my own, but we'll talk about a lot of that stuff on on the podcast in a couple of weeks. Um, but you failed, that, you, uh, you failed to tell um, the, yeah. our viewers why the Steel Series is so awesome. Keep in mind, uh, you're right. This device here has a DAC that can actually be used on two separate devices and it is lossless wireless audio because the DAC is what actually communicates via 2.4 with the right. headset. So you have lossless audio, fantastic surround sound. You yes. have battery that lasts hours and hours and is hot swappable. It's fantastic. Yeah, um, yeah I can't say enough. Just, amazing just in case anybody and, is and unsure. this is obviously wired too, so we yeah. use it on our podcast. Yeah. Multifunctional. Just in, just in case anyone's wondering about uh, when you when you mention hot swappable, uh, because most people do know, but just in case anybody is un unaware, that just means you can actually swap out the batteries without having to turn off and turn on. You literally pop the battery, which charges inside the DAC. It's a second battery. It comes with two. You don't have to buy another one. You yep. take it out, and then you remove the one from the headset, pop it in within eight seconds, and it takes only a few seconds to just reinitiate. It doesn't have to restart. All the settings you had on the DAC say the same, and, and the audio quality yep. is fantastic. Yeah. Um, it's also, amazing. Yeah. You can do Bluetooth and mm -hmm. wireless at the same time, so you can be gaming and listening to your own music. Yeah, I didn't mention that. That's awesome. Because that we actually, in the very, very beginning of our gaming days, before PlayStation, we yeah. would actually use yeah. the Bluetooth audio from our phones. You remember that? Yes, we did. Yeah, While I we do remember playing. that. So, GeForce uh, Now, actually, I believe we did yeah. that with GeForce Now. Yeah, and it worked. It worked really well. It was amazing. Yeah, it's such a yeah. multifunctional headset that sounds phenomenal. Uh, you're sacrificing nothing, and it's a leader in its class. I'll actually link it to um, the product to our Amazon. I am an Amazon associate, yeah. so if you do purchase, thank you very much. It'll help support. The there channel. you go. So but I was they wrong. Are there is amazing a way to get headsets. something out of that. They are yeah, it, it 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 is absolutely better and and a uh, hundred percent. Again, it it this is but, but keep in mind that there are less expensive Steel Series headphones in yes. case you do want to at least get something that is getting approaching to this, and you're like, I need another six months a year before I can get the more expensive one. Uh, I still recommend it. Anything Steel Series, you're gonna get yeah. uh, a great product. They're extremely well built. Uh, they actually have an Amazon yeah. store. So in addition to specifically listing this headset, I will link to the store as well. So you can go check out all their headsets because oh. he's right. They they have a whole yeah. slew of different headsets that are available. And I think yeah. originally you and I both used um, one of their lower end. Yeah, um, I, uh, three, I, I want to say it was the it three was a, yeah, series. Three, three it was series. A three, yeah. and something like that. We just wanted the more dynamic sound yeah. and the and the other capabilities this had, and it was like an amazing upgrade for sure, hundred percent. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I, and I, sh I should mention too, um, the there they are um, active noise cancellation, which yes. with the touch of a button you can go from noise cancellation on or off. Also, uh, I can't remember what you call it. What is it like a pass through mode or something like that? Um, yes, where where it doesn't do noise cancellation, but it also mics in surrounding noise. It's kind so of the opposite. Hear of noise. people, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it does that so that if you need to hear the doorbell or if you mm -hmm. need to hear somebody, you're taking care of your sick grandmother. You can still hear if she's coughing or something. Yeah. I mean, whatever it is, you know, uh, you, you can hear your wife saying, "Get off the computer and get over here now and take <laughs> out the car." It, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You can hear, and then you could turn that right back on when you don't want to hear. Get over here now. <laughs> but bottom line is, 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 is it is yeah. it really fantastic? And I absolutely love it. Uh, oh, one last thing for you gamers out there that want to use a PS5 and you want to use a computer for your streaming computer using a capture card, this has a line in, line out that you can use with the capture card to capture all your audio here. 
that streams. And so you don't have to use a separate mic, a separate headphone. It's all in one. It may not sound like 100% clear like this mic does, but it does more than ample job of uh, yeah. the audio. If you're it's fantastic. If you bring that up. If you bring that up, it might as well actually mention it's like we're doing a commercial for them or something. Uh, you have to. There's one other thing. There are actually two versions of this. One that works with computer and PS5 or anything else, period, mm -hmm. that can work with the USB-C uh, input or output or, or sorry, and yeah, input into the DAC. Xbox. And then there's the Xbox version, which if you are an Xbox user, you are well aware that they have a proprietary version of USB audio. So if yes. you want to hook up headphones via USB at all, you absolutely have to buy the Xbox version. Same price. And you can still use it with a computer, but you will not be able to use it with a PS5. Oh, no, you can use it with a PS5. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, because it's proprietary only works. So basically yeah. what it has is the DAC has two USB inputs. One will work with computer or anything else, including, including a PlayStation. Uh, the other one will only work with Xbox. So if you didn't want to use it with a computer and you just had an Xbox and a PS5, and you only wanted it for those, you could hook one to the uh, one, one to one and one to the other. Uh, but most people want a computer and an Xbox or a computer and a PS5. And if you have three, you might do some switcheroos, but uh, just be careful with that. Make sure when you go into a store or look online or whatever, you make sure that it either says Xbox version or doesn't say Xbox version. It will say PC, <laughs> yeah. PS5, blah, 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 blah. Or no. it'll say pc xbox and nothing else right so yeah so be be mindful <laughs> of what you're clicking on but yeah so for sure but yeah so at any rate so that's our that's our uh, still serious plug for the for the episode yeah they were. <laughs> hope you're watching steel series and they are Rogue. just amazing product though so i mean it's not i mean even if i did not have an amazon associate account i would still link to the product i'd still recommend the product because it's hands down the best headset i've ever had ever and now i know you use samsung now but i want to know which one of these bad boys was your favorite my favorite was the 4xl oh the one i'm holding Oh, wait, there. Yeah, that was my favorite. <laughs> In other words, I already knew that. Oh, it's it just, down. It just no worked didn't so it. well. Sorry, it's, it's, there we go. Um, yeah. I, I'm not going to disagree with you. Uh, and, and to this day, I still, I kind of miss some of the things that it did and the way it worked. But once it got into the six, it, it, the sensor was a little bit bigger. The seven uh, was better. And the eight is just phenomenal in comparison, it, it, camera-wise. Uh, uh, but the, honestly, yeah. I never had an issue with the four in any way, shape, or form. And one of the things I was coming from a five, and the five was just a budget phone that you know it was a gap year for for Google. So it was yeah. kind of like a massive step down and then a big, huge step back up. But <laughs> yeah. it was still a smaller sensor. Yeah. It wasn't the same size. They they made a huge leap in sensor size in, in the six. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah, they really should have just went it, four. Sorry, I've been coming just... from the three, which was uh, it, hard to explain. The three, the three was good, but the, it just didn't have the same abilities that the four did. Yeah, they they really should have just went from four to six, though. They should have just skipped five because five was just not a good phone, in my opinion. I had one too. Uh, well, they just... they wanted to, but there was the, the stuff that they wanted to do with it wasn't ready, so they kind of made a decision uh, with about six months to go and said, "Well, we have we can't." We don't have enough time to test it, so uh, put out a small phone. Uh, bad, bad basically, what would have been what would have originally been the three A ended up being the four, or I mean the five. Yeah. Um, was there actually a three A though, or did that start with four? Four A. Uh, you know that I don't know. I've never bought a series. Yeah, I so wouldn't. I, don't know. I wouldn't. I mean, I understand why some people do budget and they don't need anything more. My son, uh, Blake, loves it. He he won't buy anything but an A-series. He's like, I don't but need he, anything but else. He, he mentioned that, but he, he doesn't seem like he cares about uh, beyond that. You know, just have the no. phone, like taking a picture, take a picture. If you don't, don't. And that's it. You know, yeah. make a phone call, hang it up. Bob's your uncle. Uh, Pretty much. I I love my technology. I do everything with it. I video, video, shoot video, video, edit, post stuff. Uh 
I, I, I get into all kinds of stuff with the phone that, uh, I mean, it's a small computer and, and oh, yeah. it does some of the things quicker on my, on my phone than I can do on a computer. Yeah. hundred percent, hundred percent. And I, you know, I'll be using, uh, my Samsung device, um, in my right. travel vlogging coming up for these next two or three trips, um, which you have promised we were going to see at least a couple of pictures. I'll send some pictures. So when you do your unboxing, your phone, you can show off some pictures and you know, yeah, no, no. I mean, when you come back, you put some pictures up on the well, screen. You can, you can show blog. some off if you're in unboxing too, though. So, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, but that's not, not yours. Why would I show off your pictures in my unboxing of my new phone? That makes no sense. It's the Samsung phone. I can well, do that as a comparison to show how much better my phone is. <laughs> but that's that's not really where I was going with this. Okay. Uh, right. But but nonetheless, um, just so as you know, though, and uh, make sure everybody understands this, uh, as of September, I will be switching to iPhone. And that's when the podcast will end. So I'm, I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> that, that's our last episode. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. Yes. Uh, I'm not doing. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I, I like my pixels. And if I do switch, honestly, I would only switch to Samsung at this point. If I did switch, at this point, it's not going to happen. Yet, so uh, I'm giving the nine definitely a chance. And and honestly, if it's not that great a phone, I'll I'll have to suck it up. Because there's no way I'm going to make a switch during the year of the Pixel 10. Which, by the way, them putting this one out early scares me that they might stretch longer and wait till October next year to to iron out anything they need to do with the Pixel 10. Um, that that scares me. I be, I honestly, though, I, I will tell you, I believe that, that they're already technically finished and they're giving it a long time to do testing. Uh, because there's no way they could do it unless it was already done because it's, it's new. They've never had it before. This is 100% designed by Google, not a Samsung chip. This is what they said. This is the, what they're doing. We designed it, and now they send the plans off to TSMC to manufacture it, which is the same thing Apple does, which is the same thing Samsung does for some of their, for their Exynos chip. They don't make their own chips all the time. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um, yeah, but I think that they probably have already done that. The design for the phone is probably mostly done. I mean, they're most likely using a prototype at this point that's going to change, but, uh, it's likely they're testing it severely already. Um, because again, this is the first one. Like, do you honestly, the, when, the, when, uh, Apple came out with the, uh, Macintosh, uh, everybody thinks, oh, Steve Jobs went back and six months later, there was a Mac. There was. <laughs> it was like a year and a half before they even got anywhere near there and they were talking to him for months before he re rejoined the team and they used next computer technology entirely to make it next computer literally became mac os uh and anybody doesn't know that look it up it's i swear to you it's the absolute 100 percent true and yeah. Steve Jobs even knows. I mean, he admitted. I mean, like not not admitted. I mean, it, it was it was his baby. He, you know, he did, technically he didn't write a creative because he wasn't a programmer. Right. He, he paid somebody else to do the work. He was a creative. Uh, he was extremely creative. He knew what he wanted, and he wanted that done. And quite frankly, had the technology been to, available uh, ten years earlier to do that, that's exactly what he would have had Bill Gates do. And Bill Gates would have been able to write that. But unfortunately, what was available was that. And the only reason why Gates didn't use a better a better system was because he didn't want to completely copy Mac, right? He yeah. should have. He should have went uh, based on, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not Linux. Uh, what Linux is based on. Unix. Unix. Thank you. He Seriously, Jobs should have wrote that stuff in, in Unix. He really should have. He knew how. And he should have done it. I'm just saying. Yeah, but I think he did it because he wanted a wider um, a, a platform that had a lot more support. Or, but it didn't have any support. He, maybe he had, support's he, not the right word. It's when, yeah, Windows. He, he, but he, I think he, he wrote saw, Windows from scratch. Yes, there was he no wrote support. it in a way to where it was going to be easier for people to develop for. 
And, oh, and okay. I, that's okay. Been true. And, and, that's I, been and true. I, I do understand what you're saying. Although I kind of, I get it, but I think people would have done it anyways. Uh, yeah, probably. But I think the biggest problem was that it had to run on DOS up until uh, XP? No, 2000, right? No, no, Windows NT. Sorry, Windows NT. Is that correct? Windows NT. This 2000 was Windows NT, technically. Just well, 3.1, I think, didn't run full DOS interface. It, obviously, they all No, it didn't, but it, it had to run on top in, of but, DOS. Everything, right. every, all Windows ran on top of DOS. And to right. even even Millennium ran on top of DOS. Right. I mean, you could easily find that out by simply uh, going into the... Uh, oh, God, that's, uh, my, that's been so long. But I do remember being able to do this. And you could go in and you could write uh, the boot file so that it, it, it would stop. Uh, right. One character short of starting Windows. And you would see the DOS screen when it tried to start up. If you put that character in properly, it starts. Yeah. Otherwise, it won't. But that is one that was one great thing about DOS, though. If Windows had an issue starting up, you could tell it how to. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. But it was just too slow. Yeah, yeah. garbage slow. But yeah, I mean, you know, I obviously I think Microsoft, as we've talked before on other podcasts, I think they missed the boat in a lot of ways. Um, I you still know, became, I, it still became the, the high, highest. I was largest sales of, of, of uh, OS ever. Granted, but, but when you I look at the you. when you look at the you know outlying components, you know phones and trackers and yeah, yeah, all these other things that are now coming out. Speaking of trackers, and um, oh no, I will be talking about it on a podcast when I get back because I'm going to be testing the Smart Tag oh, Two, yeah. my original Smart Tag, and I bought a Pebble and I can already tell you, I'm not going to give yeah. anything away, but the Pebble B is not going to cut it. Microsoft, excuse me, Google's Find My has already irritated me, and I haven't even really used it. If you're not get the it, first but person. I'll get into that. I'll get into that though. I do. Yeah, I, I do want to hear from somebody I know and get more details. But I know that uh, basically every single reviewer has the same thing to say. What? Are you doing yeah. Google? You yeah. drop the ball. It's not ready. But that's what they're saying. But of course it's not ready because there's nothing out there that works with it yet. I, I hate to tell you this, but when Apple first put out their air tags, it took months before it would find anything. To this day, I know people who whole family owns nothing but eye products and they got trackers on everything. They can't find stuff in their house. <laughs> sometimes and it's not because stuff is up it's because it's off this is the the great thing about what google is doing and it will get better it's just gonna probably take much longer than we want it to is specifically with pixel phones and hopefully others kind of come up with this um and support it but there for a time while they're off they will still be findable uh using a very small amount of battery and bluetooth low energy a lot of people, well, it's going to be on. That's why they call it Bluetooth low energy. It will literally, the phone will be, if it won't be able to broadcast anything except that one tiny ping, it'll probably only ping once every minute or two or something like that. They haven't mentioned how it works, but it's yeah. Bluetooth low energy. So it'll probably use less than your headphones on standby. So if you think about it, it's going to use like 1% every 24 hours or something. And it's only going to actually be active for about, a few hours in that state before it's no so if you lose your phone hopefully you're smart enough to look for it you know in those few hours that it's lost yeah uh, well i, I can tell you that um you know samsung and apple are going to have the tracker market uh, for a, why a long time for a long time because you know even still like motorola i saw an article the other day it said oh the new motorola tracker is now available because it works with find my and it's got ultra wideband on it it's like oh okay. yeah, yeah that's what i've been waiting on so i went to go <laughs> and buy one because i thought too. okay maybe i can get it in time to test it too because it's got ultra wideband and right it's un it's unavailable i couldn't find it anywhere even though they said it was available it's not available same price 29 dollars. barely available it sold out but, in three hours 
Here's another thing too is I didn't even think about this is the Motorola tag does not have a keyhole. So in order to what? put it on anything, you have to buy an accessory to put it well, in. Well, is it a small? T oh, because they made it so that it would work with um, uh, eye tag stuff. The, yeah, it, it's like yeah, it's like uh, the Apple. Yeah. But 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 they actually have keyholes. Oh no, they don't. They actually have no. to put them in stuff too. Yeah. yeah, I think I honestly I think that's actually a good decision though, to be honest with you. Because they have so many accessories. And if I were using one, for instance, there's a really good chance I'd rather buy one of those eye accessories and get this fruit fly out of my face. Uh, and <laughs> Sorry. And, and, and uh, you know, like, for instance, a keychain. You know, I, I actually keep like three or four keys on my keychain because I hate having one key or two keys. And it, it just feels like it's not there. Sometimes I forget to put, you know, the keys are in my pocket. And I don't even realize it. So when I have three or four, I can tell. But if I have a keychain, it's different. But I don't like big, bulky keychains in my pocket. Uh, a tag wouldn't bother me because I have, on occasion, put my keys down and went, huh? And, you know, having a track. Well, I, I think uh, Samsung's new design is, is perfect. I think it's genius, actually. Because you don't. You can use an accessory, or you don't have to use. You can yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Dog call. Yeah. I mean, it's. I think they did a good job. And there's nothing that. wrong with that either. I mean, I I think having a choice, like making a couple of different designs, is always a good idea for starters. Um, but I, I the, the thing for me though is I just I'd like to see Google's find my device network work because with Samsung's it doesn't do squat unless you own everything Samsung. Agreed. Uh, just like Apple has to be all Apple. Right. Uh, Google's is giving you this out of, it'll work with anything, including Samsung. You just right. need to find my device network, which works with anything Android with, uh, I can't remember what version and up. Uh, and so, yeah, I, but like I said, there's already a couple of things that have already your team just in checking it like, Oh, is this ready to go? And it's like, what? Yeah. I don't understand. Okay. But I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll get into that and, and we'll, we'll have that on another episode once I get back and kind sure. of compile yeah. all that. But, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting all that tested. So, but it's, yeah, I think they have some work to do for sure. Well, yeah, yeah, I would, I would say so. Uh, they're not, they're not quite, you know, mainstream. <laughs> it's going to be a while before that actually happens. Uh, and probably a long while, to be honest with you. Um, but, however, anybody owns uh, a Bluetooth phone that has By My Device Network, which uh, all of the S23s, S24s in the next six months will by then uh the s25 will have it right out of the gate all new pixel phones and anyone who owns a pixel phone and just about any phone that goes to android 15 well not just about all phones that go to android 15 will actually have access to whether people use it or not depending on the manufacturer however um so it it, it does make it because the thing about it is you don't have to have 57 trackers around you in order for your tracker to be read it could be as little as one phone, but most likely if there's three or four phones within Bluetooth range like this, yeah. it's going to find you within a few meters or something like or find the product. Right. I don't know. I'm getting noise in my headset all of a sudden. I don't hear any noise. Like no. I'm glad, you're, glad you're not hearing it because it was pretty loud. <laughs> Everything sounds fine over here. <laughs> Yeah, well, just the way it is around these parts. <laughs> uh, but so what else you got? Anything before we wrap up? Yeah, like, subscribe, and buy some merch. Link in the description. <laughs> and Wait, you this is not a thumbnail. This is a thumbnail. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, right. wait. You got to do that again. More? Oh, you gotta do oh. that again. Uh, oh, you want to do th this you easier? Uh, there. Wait a minute. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I needed a big, you know, without me in there. But uh, 
Uh, well, wait, well, maybe you should be in there too, but you can't really take a picture of yourself. And then you would have to look for, well, actually it won't be that hard to find because uh, 55 minutes. Go ahead. Do one of those. <laughs> no, he's not going to no, do it. I'm good. <laughs> I got my face on right. my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, the like, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and and yeah, you know what? Uh, honestly, check out that shirt that uh, that Robert's wearing. It's real nice. Actually, this right here, I need to make with that because that's our new logo. That um, is so true. That, that is true. This is so still maybe, available. Maybe buy it anyway. Yeah, it's still yeah. available. Um, and it comes, you know, white, black, you know, just all kinds of different colors you can put it on. But I need to actually update it with that logo. I just haven't done that yet. So, but yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. All right. So, so with our, that said, I think we're pretty much ready to start wrapping up. Uh, and um, we're going to say, first of all, I hope you have a great vacation. Thank you. Uh, have a great time. Uh, second of all, don't forget about uh, a picture or two. Absolutely not. Plenty of videos, plenty of pictures uh, coming, I'm it, sure. <laughs> yeah, and, of course, and of course, regardless of this, I know you're going to do on your other channel, you're going to be doing your uh, first impressions, reviews, and whatnot about your probably not so much the pebble bee and probably not a lot of good things to say about it. Uh, but the tracker situation, you'll have some things to say on your other channel, obviously. Uh, but obviously I'm assuming you're going to bring some of them up on the podcast. The uh, first podcast when we get back as well. Yep. Talk yep. about some of the stuff there. And okay. of course I will be talking a lot about the new pixel nine series phones. I'll give you all the information that I get. Uh, everything that I know about it, once the reveal is done tomorrow, I'll make sure I have all the notes down and I will bring all that information to you. And hopefully in the next podcast, I'll have one. in. And that's exactly how he's going to hold it. Ah. Ah. Okay. Uh, okay. We're going to go with that. Uh, yes. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that new phone. I'm gonna tell you right now. But until then, uh, unless there's anything else, I will say nope. right now that I am Lionel. I am in Toronto, Canada. Toronto, not Toronto, Canada. <laughs> and I am Robert, just outside Nashville. And we will see you in a couple weeks. Have a good one.